وزیر اعظم شاہد خاکان عباسی نے کہا ہے کہ پاکستان اپنی سرزمین دہشت گردی کے لیے استعمال نہیں ہونے دے گا روس کے شہر سوچی میں شنگھائی تعاون تنظیم کے سولہویں سربراہ اجلاس سے خطاب کرتے ہوئے وزیر اعظم شاہد خاکان عباسی نے کہا I would like to convey my profound gratitude to Chairman Medvedev for hosting this meeting in the beautiful city of Sochi. I am deeply touched by the warm hospitality extended to my delegation. This year marks the 15th anniversary of the signing of the SCO Charter. It also holds a special significance for Pakistan. We take pride in becoming a full member of the SCO, an organization that offers a new model of interstate cooperation for peace, security, connectivity, and sustainable development. We congratulate India on becoming a full member of the SCO. Mr. Chairman, the SCO holds tremendous potential for connectivity, trade, energy, and economic development. It can lead the, to progress and prosperity for the entire region. Pakistan looks forward to bringing further vitality to this vibrant organization. With a consumer market of over 200 million people, vast business potential and a rapidly modernizing infrastructure, Pakistan offers the SCO enormous opportunities for mutually beneficial cooperation. Pakistan's deep historical and cultural ties as well as strong economic and strategic links with the SCO members can act as an enabler in realizing the SCO's vision. Excellencies, trade and economic cooperation hold the key to the SCO region's long-term stability, progress and prosperity. سی پیک کے علاوہ پاکستان میں جاری دیگر ترقیاتی منصوبوں کے حوالے سے بات کرتے ہوئے وزیر اعظم شاہد خاکان عباسی کا کہنا تھا which is the pioneering project of the Belt and Road Initiative complements the SCO's vision of, of connectivity and economic integration. We would like to see the CPEC connected to the six main trade corridors of the SCO. This will help fulfill the long-cherished aspiration for land and maritime connectivity between Europe, Central Asia, China and South Asia. Pakistan is also pursuing projects such as CASA 1000 and the Turkmenistan Afghanistan Pakistan India pipeline project to promote regional energy connectivity. We would caution against the politicization of economic development and connectivity projects. Such a myopic approach will only hold back our collective progress. Mr. Chairman, the world is going through a profound transformation marked by an eastward shift of the global development potential. Coinciding with this change, the SCO is creating a new imprint on the global international order. The Shanghai spirit, as, ensh as enshrined in the SCO Charter and the Treaty on Long-Term Neighborliness, Friendship and Cooperation, is our guiding principle. It can help promote our shared vision of mutual trust, mutual benefit, equality, respect for cultural diversity, and the pursuit of common development. The SCO should continue to contribute towards building a just and rational world order based on the UN Charter principles of respect for international law and non-interference in each other's internal affairs. Afghanistan میں امن کے لیے شنگھائی تعاون تنظیم کی کاوشوں کو سراہتے ہوئے وزیر اعظم نے کہا Pakistan is fully cognizant of the threats posed by terrorism, separatism and extremism to the regional and global economic development. We have lost thousands of lives, including 6,500 military and law enforcement personnel to terrorism. Our economy has suffered losses of over $120 billion. This has only served to strengthen our resolve to fight terrorism. We are vigilant and will not allow any form of militancy on our soil. Pakistan is fully committed to eliminating the evil of terrorism. 
Pakistan supports and would complement the efforts of SCO rats in the fight against terrorism and extremism. We support the SCO consensus that as we engage in the fight against terrorism, we must respect the norms and principles of international law and shun double standards. Terrorism cannot be identified with any religion, individual countries or nationalities. Pakistan desires an early return of peace, stability and prosperity to our brotherly country of Afghanistan. To this end, we call for further deepening of cooperation within the new consultative format of SCO Afghanistan Contact Group. The objective of this format should be to support Afghanistan's efforts for a peaceful political settlement through dialogue and combating security and terrorism threats to Afghanistan and the region. We will be happy to contribute to SCO's efforts towards building a stable and prosperous Afghanistan. Shanghai Taiwan Tanzim ke solve sarbarahi ijlas se khitab karte hue wazir azam Shahid Khan Abbasi ka mazid kehna tha I would like to highlight the importance of strengthening the future SCO cooperation through number 1 improving the regional infrastructure and enhancing connectivity by building communication networks including roads air maritime and IT links two developing multilateral trading systems in sync with the WTO to pursue the shared goal of economic trade services and technological integration three harmonizing laws and regulations on trade facilitation movement of merchandise taxation policies customs rules and removal of tariff non tariff barriers as well as development of SMEs and e-commerce for supporting efforts of the SCO business council and SCO interbank association in further enhancing economic trade and investment cooperation five fast tracking the establishment of the SCO development bank and development fund and creating synergies with the AIIB and other financial institutions six creating legal synergy through regular dialogue between parliamentarians justice ministries supreme courts and attorney generals for effective administration of justice seven investing more in the fields of health tourism education sports culture people to people contacts and the liberalization of visa regimes mr chairman today we are witnessing a historic opportunity for the sco to truly have a transcontinental reach in the coming decades it would emerge as an important global geopolitical and geoeconomic force let us harness the sco's potential and competencies for our mutual advantage we stand ready to contribute to this collective endeavor we congratulate china for taking over chairmanship of the sco and we wish it all success and we promise our full support to their efforts we thank china for effectively steering the sco during its presidency we welcome tajikistan as the next host of the sco's head of government meeting in 2018 thank you mr chairman lotus lake towers a ground breaking endeavor by lotus properties پاکستان میں پہلی مرتبہ حالات حاضرہ کے مختصر مگر جامع پروگرام خبروں تبصروں کے علاوہ دیگر سماجی تجارتی ثقافتی تفریحی معلوماتی مذہبی تعلیمی صحت اور بچوں کے پروگرام صرف ٹی این این ٹی وی پر